guys, welcome back to Bros with Crystal here. Uh, let's see, last time I think we were kind of debating on where to put the cafe, and I think you guys have kind of answered pretty much unanimously. It's it's a pretty obvious decision, so we're gonna go do that right after I read this letter, I think. Uh, darling Crystal, as if in a dream, I saw your home and how you're living, but I couldn't see you. How bittersweet. Still a lovely town, Mom. Well, thank you, Mom. Let's see what she got us. Uh, let's see here. A sunflower? That's kind of cute. Also, uh, you may notice I have a honeybee in my inventory. Essentially, uh, I'm not gonna say all because it isn't all, but a good number of the bugs have started popping up back in town since, uh, you know, obviously winter has ended. So, uh, I'm gonna dedicate a good portion of today's episode to catching a whole lot of them just for Encyclopedia and, and the museum and, and stuff like that. Okay, but first, as promised, I do want to go and, uh, and check out our cafe real quick. Okay, so, uh, public works projects, please. I think it's just at the top of the list, isn't it? Starting project first, and the cafe, there we go. So we're actually going to pay this off entirely today. You'll notice I don't have uh, the same amount of bells on me as I did the last time we uh, were together, but I just I put it all away in the, uh, I think it's called the ABD bank, no, I forget what it's called, it's the, it's the bell bank machine. <laughs> okay. So you guys chose pretty much just completely to put it over down on- whoops, wrong way- over down on this little section of land over here, and a lot of you did it because you didn't want Wolfgang to move, a lot of you thought that this little kind of secluded place near the river was cool. Um, I like it as well, somebody mentioned putting a bench near it, if I could find- have this space here, I will, because that is a really good idea. Anyway, um, let's see if we can fit it perfectly in this little- kind of turn we have right here. Uh, what do you think? I think that's perfect. I'm pretty sure. Sounds good. There we go. Absolutely perfect. Thank you guys very much for helping me, uh, Decide where to put it. I like this spot quite a lot as well. Now the thing is, this one you absolutely cannot move. So I know some people may... Eh, actually. One, two, three. One, two, yeah. It's not even on both sides, but I don't think I could actually even get it, even, even if I wanted to. Um, anyway, I'm gonna have to probably cut down this tree later and sort out the past situation over there, but... For now, we're, we're just gonna leave it anyways. How about we go do our usual daily stuff, then we'll probably finish off the episode entirely by paying that off, which should be very exciting. I really like the roost. It has actually a fun kind of uh, mini game, I guess you could call it, associated with it, so that should be pretty fun. Um, so I think it was raining last time. Actually, you know, I don't think it was raining yesterday, so we probably shouldn't find dry roads, although I'm not entirely sure about that, to be honest with you. It was raining in my other town, I think, which is why I sometimes get confused. By the way, I, uh, I still actually get asked this quite often. Uh, I have two towns because I have a digital copy of the game and a physical copy. I've had to answer that question a few times recently, so I thought I might as well state it once again here. So this is actually a digital copy of the game. Anyway, um, hi Willow. Uh, let's talk. I've been in the mood for having a certain kind of insect in my house, Missy. Yes, a butterfly. They're carefree and elegant. So inspiring, don't you think? Would you catch one for me? Any kind of butterfly would be good. Uh, you know what? If we catch duplicates, I will definitely get you one, Willow. If not, then, you know, tough luck. The museum earns it, or deserves it, rather more than you do. And how are you doing, Poppy? Oh, 
Uh, did you happen to notice that Pashmina was sneezing a lot the other day? I hope that doesn't mean she's, like, allergic to me or something. I swear to god you said the same line of dialogue the last time I talked to you, baby. I love you, but, you know, it's time to change things up a bit. <laughs> okay, still don't see any fossils. Let's go talk to Freckles. Still trying to get them to move out, both Willow and Freckles, and it's, you know, been really slow going. Hey there! What do you think of my house? It's kind of lacking something. I think I know what the problem is. My black denim jacket. I need to replace it with something else. That something else would have to be the same size. If you find perfect- if you find the perfect thing, bring it on by. Alright, so a one square item. Hopefully we'll find something for her because I really need to get on her good side. She'll, she'll ask to leave, which sounds really kind of, you know, counterproductive, but apparently it does work, so... <laughs> It did actually work in my other town with Cat, as you guys probably know if you watch the streams, so... Okay, lighthouse is not surrounded by fossils. Uh, O'Hare was not in his house. Was Pashmina in hers? Was I just ignoring her? No? Okay. Oh, Marshall! How you doing, buddy? That watering can looks far too large for him. <laughs> Great timing, Muscles. You're always so good about appearing when I need you. If you're going to Willow's place today, could you deliver something? Oh. No problem, I'm on it. Okay, um, so that shouldn't be a big deal at all. Oh, there she is. <laughs> He could have, like, walked a few more steps, so actually, you know what, considering how tiny his legs are, it probably would have been a good number more steps, but... Why don't you take this, Willow? See, now these quests always kind of confused me, and my reasoning is, uh... Technically, you're doing this to become closer with these villagers, right? So, are you getting closer with the one who you're doing the favor for? Or the one who you're giving the item or whatever it is to who usually gives you a present for doing so. I never was quite sure. <laughs> a nebula tea. Thought I'd never see this again. Are you oh, no, you're not changing? What is it? Is it something for- no, never mind. <laughs> Let's hope it was something for Freckles. A wrestler tank. You think that would suit me? I'm not even gonna try it on. I don't think it would. <laughs> And I'm not really that fond of you, to be honest. Um, okay. Enough being mean to Willow for today. Oh! Lost item. Potentially Freckles, since she's in her house? That It's always been my theory, at least. I don't know. We'll go check it out after. I guess. Unless we see somebody else in their house, in which case we'll check them out, obviously, because we... Want to talk to all our villagers today? Oh gosh, that was terrible aim. There we go. Okay, mm nothing really there. Uh, a bamboo shoot. See, if only we had bamboo, but we don't. Which is actually, you know, kind of a blessing, kind of a curse. Because bamboo is kind of awesome to have. But it, like, grows so fast and it spreads everywhere if you let it. Like, it is actually kind of dangerous. Um, so if I do have bamboo, I'm definitely gonna be, uh, I guess circling it off with paths. I believe that stops its growth from, like, you know, spreading beyond the area that it's in. So that would probably be the best idea with that. Okay, Bam is not in. And there's nothing behind his house either. Speaking of, actually, what were our quest things for today. Good fit. Spend over 500 bells at Able Sisters. Pay it forward. Uh, oh, send someone a letter with something like a gift. Art appreciation. That means probably Red is gonna, or Reed is gonna be in town sometime. Maybe even today. I'm not sure. And strike it rich. Tap the rock eight times. Okay. I don't see anything but I hear people walking so, <laughs> so probably a villager down there maybe 
Ah, yes. Flora, how's it going? Found you at last. Oh, hey, I have a great idea. Why don't you come over to my place right now? I thought you were gonna ask to move out. This is not as good. I'm sorry, Flora. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'll go over to your house with you. It's kind of out of our way right now, but... You know, maybe she'll like us just a little bit more. <laughs> In fact, her house is actually completely out of our way, but that's alright. Still three branches. We're doing pretty good, though, in terms of tree growth, I think. Also, speaking of, uh, of reed. Oh, hello. Give me just a second, Flora. Don't want to forget about that later. Oh. Perfect. And, uh, oh, I forget his name. Phineas, I think? He's over there, so we should probably actually go talk to him real quick. I wonder what we did. <laughs> I'm sorry for making you wait, Flora. Give me just a second. Why, good afternoon, youngster. I do so love the feely- Oh, love to feel the sunlight streaming through the trees. By the way, is there something you need from me? Uh, may I have a badge? Okay, you want a badge, do you? Let's see, what kind of badge best suits you? It seems you're really enjoying life in this town. It would make this old man so happy if you continue to enjoy life here in Rosewolf. I've got the perfect badge for you. Okay, so we got the bronze badge for, I think, spending a certain amount of time in town or, or days. I'm not sure if it's time-based or day-based yet, but that's pretty awesome. Villager representative badge. This is my prize for playing a lot. Okay, actually. Uh, let's, let's just check this out real quick. Um, does it actually tell you? Just spent a lot of time playing. Alright, so it's not actually going to tell me how much time, but... That's alright. I'm sure I could Google it. She was super patient with us though, that's actually really awesome of her. <laughs> Make yourself at home. Well, don't mind if I do. I love your, <laughs> your flamingo, uh, I guess, lawn ornaments. Can I steal this from you by any chance? I really want that shelf in my house. Maybe you'll pick up a pointer or two for your own place. Uh, I don't know about all the pink for- Oh, she has the phone! Cool! Wait, I can actually click on it? Hello, this is the automated fortune-telling telephone service. Fortune day for Pisces is... A fateful encounter may just await you on your path today. Don't look down at your phone, look ahead. And we'll bring you luck today is... Some cute bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I didn't actually think that would work. That's kind of cool. I assumed that you had to have the item for it to even do anything. That was cool. Maybe you should stay. <laughs> uh, I can't practice dancing without any music, right? That's why I have to listen to KK Flamenco. Well, I mean, it fits you, so... <laughs> what do you think? My place is cool, right? It should totally be in a style magazine. Well, I mean, your place is pretty cool. I think I'm gonna have to head out, though, now. I'm, I'm sorry, Flora. Uh, it is actually really nice. <laughs> Her house isn't actually all that bad, and that phone just kind of made it all the more better, and now I kind of don't want her to move, because I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to get that phone for myself, so... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was, like, a special release item, wasn't it? I'm not actually sure, now that I think about it. I'm sure you guys will be able to tell me. Anyway, alright, so back to where we were. Wasn't Melba over here? Somewhere? Maybe? Here you are. Hello, Sea Train. Uh, let's see here. Oh. Wait, no, I, okay, you know what? I, I'll check, but you're not who I wanted to give this to. Yeah, I didn't think it was yours. <laughs> I just wanted to talk to you. The other day I was shaking a tree when a piece of furniture dropped from its branches. Until then, I didn't realize trees could bear furniture instead of fruit. Anyway, it was a lovely surprise. 
should try shaking more trees. They're hiding all sorts of, or all kinds of things in their branches. You know, I... That never made much sense to me. How come you can, like, have a, fir like a, a sofa drop out of a tree? Like, I don't know. This game is kind of weird sometimes. <laughs> okay, let's see if this is the, uh, the money rock for today. I kind of hope it is. This is, like, one of my favorite rocks around town since we can... Nah. Since we can, uh, still hit it and, like, you know, get all eight things. Since there isn't any paths blocking it. I don't know why I'm looking around for fossils. I have all four. <laughs> Should just be looking for, uh... For the money rock now, really. Nope. How much space do we have in our inventory? A little bit. I was thinking... Since we, uh, got all the fossils for today, it might be an idea to actually just kind of start some bug hunting and take everything in once we go to assess our fossils. Of course, watch as we don't- oh, there we go. Find many bugs. <laughs> got a yellow butterfly now to catch a toast fly. Alright, so that was a new one. We're gonna see lots of those, uh, little common ones. I hear a balloon. Do I have my thing on me? I don't. I should really remember to carry that with me. Gosh darn it. Oh well. We should be pretty close to uh, getting the silver and gold ones by now though. Be funny to see if we can get the gold before the silver, like, you know, sometimes happens. Uh, shovel, just to make sure this isn't a rock that I need. In terms of money. <laughs> uh, gosh darn it. I don't know why I can't fit in. There we go. There's also the rock over here I'm gonna hit really quickly. Please don't be it. You're probably gonna be it, aren't you? Oh, wow. Did I miss a rock somewhere? I think I did. I think I missed the one outside of retail. But that's alright. Okay, don't see anything interesting here. Uh, I guess we could go in there, quickly check them out. I might not actually purchase anything today, but we'll see if we can figure out which one is real, which one isn't. Um, I can't remember if this one, the, uh, the rounded one is the real one, or if this one is the real one. That one, it's something about the white versus the black on either side. It's one side or the other. See, I know the differences. That guy, that one's fake. He doesn't have a carrot as a nose. And this one, it's either a blue headscarf or the like beige orange one, and I'm not sure which one is real. Uh, well, I'll just come back later. I always like second guess myself on that, so. <laughs> And I did want to focus on catching bugs today, rather than spending, like, ten minutes debating over a piece of art. <laughs> um, how much more space do we have? Four? Alright, let's go catch some bugs really quickly before we go to the museum, just to save a little bit of time. There was a lot down, uh... Down near our place, I feel like. I feel like we have a lot of flowers around here, though. <laughs> Now I feel like there aren't any. <laughs> when we actually have our net out and we're looking for them, they're nowhere to be found. Of course. Isn't that the way of things? Um... No? Nothing? Really? I want to at least catch a duplicate of this yellow butterfly for, uh, Willow. I know that there's also quite a tricky bug that likes to hang out on white flowers specifically. And uh, it, it itself is kind of a whitish color as well, so it kind of blends in. So I'm gonna have to start looking out for those. I don't actually know what time of year it comes out though. That's the other thing, so uh, we might not even see it yet. Oh, hello there. We don't have that one. Okay, awesome. So I'm pretty sure we'll end up catching duplicates of those to give to Willow. Either or. Speaking of Willow... <laughs> I 
Oh, I don't see anything. That's kind of funny. There was like the... Um, the big dark ones here before and... Oh! I think that's the tiger butterfly, I think, is what it's called. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> There's another common one, so now we're down to, I think, one space? Two spaces. Alright, never mind. But yeah, I think- oh. There's another yellow one, so if we can catch that one for Willow, that would be awesome, but it's moving in the wrong direction. Oh, I hate it when they like to hover over the river. Well, hopefully it doesn't fly back over the other side. There we go. Alright, so let's hand this over to Willow. Maybe, just maybe, in the time it takes us to get over to her, we'll find, you know, different, uh, bugs. Oh, there we go. She's closer than I thought she would be. Alright, so that one is yours. Uh, well done, Missy. You got me a yellow butterfly. Just a little something and thanks. Is it something I can give to Freckles? <laughs> a sawhorse. I don't know what that looks like. Probably not something Willow or Willow Freckles wants, so never mind about that theory. Alright, you know what? Let's just head up to the museum. I'm sure that we'll find others when we don't have our net out and when we're not actually looking for them. That just seems to be how uh, how this game likes to do, do things. Also, I just remembered, we actually had a new store open on Main Street uh, today, actually. It was under construction yesterday. And uh, that's going to be pretty exciting and it's our next step actually up to getting Shampoodle so we can finally get rid of this uh, hair plane, as I like to call it. <laughs> Uh, okay, so assess fossils first. Hopefully we have at least one that he wants. Nope, alright, fair enough. I think that we're only missing like five, if that, so that's probably why it's suddenly becoming very difficult to find ones that he wants. Uh, Alright, so why don't you take these bugs then from us? Okay, so there's that done with. Um, by the way, I just wanted to mention, I had a few people uh, commenting on it from the last episode. If you guys didn't actually manage to get uh, a good chunk of the Pave furniture from Festival, you might want to try going to Pave's RV. He can be there, you know, occasionally. Um, I see him quite frequently. But uh, he doesn't have all of his furniture, I don't think, but he has a really good, uh, I guess, little bit of it. So it might be worth a look for you guys who want to try uh, completing the collection just a little bit more. Or maybe you're missing like just a bed or something. I'm pretty sure he has that and like the chest for sure which is something I couldn't get and I think a closet, the wallpaper flooring and I think that's about it, I believe. Or does he have the wallpaper flooring? I don't remember. Okay, I want to sell please. Uh, we'll sell all of that. Is there anything in here that Willow, or my goodness, not Willow, Freckles might like? <laughs> like a water fountain or something water-based? Uh, no, I don't think any of these will fit. Maybe, maybe Timmy and Tommy will have something. Hi, Wolfgang. So many things here, it's hard to decide on just one item. Okay. 
Okay. And I absolutely should not forget to pay off that, uh... Oh, we already have that one. <laughs> to already to uh, pay off the roost, I really can't forget to do that because I really want that to be. I think it'll be done like overnight anyway, so I want it to be done in time for next episode. I think I can't remember if that's the one that might take a little while longer to complete. I don't think so. I think it's just Main Street ones that do that. Okay, what do you have? Oh, that's only that's more than one space, but it would work. Oh, now I'm conflicted. Maybe I should buy her a cactus just for, like, the irony of it. I don't know. Also, I'm not actually looking into buying any more, like, furniture and wallpaper, etc. until I decide what next furniture set I want. Uh, if you're wondering why I haven't even been checking. I'm, I'm kind of scrolling through a list online. Uh, or I have been recently, not currently. Um, trying to decide which one I want. But we'll see how that goes. Sure, why not? And... And I want this also. Still just working our way towards the, uh... Gold axe and the, I think it's silver watering can. Okay, so you guys just kind of saw a little bit of a sneak peek of the next store we're going to be visiting. It's pretty exciting. Oh, O'Hare is in here. Um, no, <laughs> I don't want any of that. How are you doing, buddy? Uh, want to chat? The trend is to wear tight clothes nowadays, Crystal. Huh? No worries with a body like this, how could I ever feel even the slightest bit embarrassed? I don't know, I mean that tail is pretty darn cute. Um... Oh wait, somebody- Irvin wanted this. He might already have it. But I'm gonna buy it for him just in case he doesn't have it yet. <laughs> and I need an excuse to buy stuff like this anyway. Um... This is also kind of... might be useful for something I might do in the future. There we go. Okay, so here it is. This is Kix. It's a shoe and sock store, so it's the very first time I think in Animal Crossing when you can actually really have control over different types of shoes and socks and stuff like that. Uh, Craigie, it's the mayor here in my shop. Welcome, miss. My name's Kix. I run this little shoe shop. Please have a look around. Alright, well, I don't see any sh socks I want. Uh, what are these? Oh, those are just the plain ones. I might get those. I actually might like them over the boots I'm wearing right now. <laughs> Let's see how they look. What, what socks do I even have on right now? Oh, actually, I don't mind that. That's cute. White might actually go better, but I don't see like stockings. I just see like ankle socks. So, but uh, yeah, from how I understand it, by the way, guys, we're gonna have to buy a certain amount of shoes, socks, like stuff from Kicks, as well as a certain amount of accessories and clothing, I think, from the Able Sisters, in order to unlock this right up here, which is Shampoodles, which is going to be a lifesaver for us. <laughs> Anyways. Um, how much was the cafe again? Was it, uh, 298,000? I'm just gonna take out 300,000 and, uh, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Hope that we have enough. Now we have, like, no bells, but that's alright. We'll, we'll have to make, like, another trip to the island or something sometime. Speaking of which, I wasn't sure if I should do this or not. Um, part of me wants to go to the island to catch fish and bugs during the daytime for encyclopedia completion. But at the same time, they're all summer fish and bugs, so it's stuff we could catch here anyway. So do you guys think I should wait until summertime to catch them, or should I just go to the island? It's 
Kind of up to you guys. I don't really care either way. Anyway, dude. Hello there. 298,000. I knew it. All right. Uh, I'll cooperate. In fact, I'll pay the entire thing off in one go. There we go. Awesome! The project estimation goal has been met. Alright then, you guys. I think I'm probably gonna have to end this episode here. We did quite a bit today in terms of completing the public works project we literally just put down, as well as, uh completing or starting I guess on our bug collection but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time